All right, guys, I've just signed up for my very first wet savannah drive and I am totally psyched. We're here at Yark Harbor preparing to leave, which is just one hour drive from Georgetown off the Suze Dyke Linden Highway. I've already got my gears intact and I'm ready to hit the trails. Now, mind you, these are trails that the Amerindians would have hunted and walked hundreds of years ago. Um, I want you to, I'm asking you for guidance and protection to this trip to make it an enjoyable one. Um, there are the rules and regulations that when you register I give to you. Um, one of the most important things is to follow follow the instructions of the trail guides. Well everybody got on green short. Um, the guides on the motorcycle, most of them are the guides. So we must follow the guides um, on the bikes that will navigate the trails. These trails are not that bad but it, it if you go down wrong trails, it does throw us off time. So we have to stay within the proximity of where the bikes are going. Don't choose your own trail. Don't let the adrenaline rush. Get to your head. Okay, so the bikers are off and I am right behind them on that trail. Let's go. This is um, either a tunnel, this is um, one of the ruins of way back then. We are try still trying to analyze a lot of things like these here in the savannah, the surrounding area. Um, it could be a coca, it could be a tunnel. There's rumors that there are lots of tunnels in this area that leads all the way to the airport. So we are um, we're still in investigation, so don't let me tell you too much about it. But I'm speaking from what the older folks in the village say. They say that it was tunnels. They say this area over here, if you notice, it's a flat and it's long, you see? It was um, an airstrip back in the days. A military base airstrip. long but very adventurous. So we're on the trail to St. Cuthbert Mission and this is our first major hiccup. As you can see the truck is sick there. We're not sure how long it's going to take to solve this problem but he's really in there too. We have guys from the auto trucks now coming to help pull him out. Let's hope we're back on the trail as soon as possible because we are already behind time and we have a lot now we have a long way to go. Okay, as you can see, the guys are definitely 
be prepared for any hurdle that may come up against them on the trail. We're out and we're ready to hit the road again. Let's go back to the trail. Let us go. Right now it's the St. Cuthbert's Trail. We're now heading up to the St. Cuthbert Trail, and it's just gonna be a quick stop and then we're on the road again. We have a lot of stop to make today and we have to get there before sundown. We have just arrived at our first major stop, St. Cuthbert's Mission, and it is amazing. I mean, it's peaceful, everyone is friendly. I just spoke to some of the villagers, and they are extra nice. Now, this village was founded way back in the 1800s by Mr. Ferguson, and its Arawak name, Arawak village, is Akuri. Okay, so we've been on the road for over three hours and quite frankly, most of our equipment are done. So here we are taking a quick charge up before we head out of St. Cuthbert and back on the trails. I can't promise you what the trails may bring, but I can say it's gonna be interesting. far along the journey we've had about four truck breakdowns and now we have a huge tree in front of the passage but regardless we're still pushing through and we're still on the trail this shows us how prepared when you're going to span trip how prepared you have to be because anything can happen and these guys are definitely prepared we broke down so we had to change vehicles that was a major stop then we headed on our way to Marakabai when we started the Marakabai route I was sure that it was gonna be a smooth ride but I was wrong we have had so many ups and downs but we still made it we've been through broken down vehicles we've been through bikes stuck in the slush we've been through children girls falling in the water and getting up and going again we have crossed small creeks coming through and it is crazy but amazing. I mean we're still on the trail, not about to head into Marakabai and I am totally excited. Tired but excited. I don't know what Marakabai has to offer but I can't wait to find out. 